Uh, but for now, Goldman Sachs is putting recession worries on hold for the time being. Economists at the bank have lowered the likelihood of a U.S. recession to just above 10 percent compared to 20 percent estimates at the end of the fourth quarter. This is due in part to the Federal Reserve's policy pivot. Um, guys, of course, we've seen the market react to that as Jay Powell has become a little bit more dovish. Uh, but, Kevin, what do you make of Goldman Sachs lowering recession risks? Yeah, I mean, I, I don't think this is a big deal given the fact that a recession is actually two consecutive quarters of redu reduction in economic activity, and we're already a quarter in. So they're not going out on a limb here. I'd actually probably peg it at 5%. Okay. So, it, yeah, yeah uh, it, it's one of those funny things that, uh, you know, when a recession comes, we should actually get a better indication of it coming, just given the fact that we know where capital spending is mm -hmm. uh, with businesses, and we've actually seen that stay robust even through kind of this trade situation that we're having with China, the tariff wars, especially with our um, allies. And so that's remained robust. So I, I think the risk, risk of a recession is, is actually probably less than 10 percent. And also when you're looking at the fundamentals that are driving the markets, we had a bad jobs report. We saw it was just 20,000 jobs added to the U.S. economy. But now that we know that it's, it's beat expectations, it was 196,000 jobs added, then, you know, there's reason to feel like, oh, well, you know, the risk of a recession is much lower than it was before. Yeah, when we got that March report, it really, I guess, calmed some fears. But also, when we talk about risks of recession, it's interesting to note that generally they'll tick higher the longer you are in a, in a bull market until you hit one, and then you see the chances of a recession spike when you know you're in one. Yeah, That's true, yep. I love that point, because if we go back to uh, the middle of 07, we actually started to see some tremors um, in, the, in the summer, right? Mm -hmm. We actually saw the market come down, and we actually didn't hit a recession until 2008 towards the third, fourth quarter. So we actually saw it coming for a while. It's just when were we going to get it? But I think it's pretty fascinating. Guggenheim actually came out with a report saying the next recession is probably going to be as deep and vast as the last one, which mm -hmm. is very contrarian to what everyone else thinks because they think the system is a lot healthier. They think we've fixed it, especially when it comes to the banking system. So I find that actually pretty fascinating. But they, they're talking about debt and leverage on the balance sheets. So yeah. I think that's, a, that's an interesting aspect that yeah. nobody talking about. And I'm, and I'm really glad that you mentioned that that's not what the bankers are saying, because obviously the testimony is happening right now yeah. with all those <laughs> seven bank CEOs, you know, facing the fire. But uh, Jamie Dimon, he said that if there is another recession, it's there's a pro very high probability that it will happen. It won't be as bad because yeah. the banks, because of the regulations, the banks are much more uh, protected than the I, last yeah. time. I didn't mention this off the top of the show, but it's also something we heard from uh, a guest who will be on later today, uh, Robert Kiyosaki, the author of Rich Dad, Poor Dad, also been warning about potential asset prices uh, getting too high and warning that sometime soon the uh, the dip back lower could be coming. Goldman Sachs saying that for the time being. Well, let's push not, that back. Yeah, not, not saying so quick.